Hey, you lads and ladies. I'm the Jawsome One, and welcome back to RimWorld. I finally decided to get back into playing it. They released uh, Beta 18 for the game, and along with that, they released a bunch of new features, uh, such as more AI, I believe it was, was it optimization, or was it just more customization? Anyways, they, they added a bunch of new stuff, including making a few, what used to be mods, they actually made that into a part of the vanilla code, because that they either makes the game run better or just smoother or faster. Uh, they made the research table better. Uh, they fixed a bunch of problems, a bunch of errors. Uh, there are plenty of YouTubers who have already gone into detail about exactly what's happened with beta. But one of the things that I want to focus on is the scenario editor. Uh, so see here, if I click down here and I choose scenario editor, this is how all these are made, by the way, was via scenario editors. These ones they uploaded to uh, the Steam Workshop. The one I'm going to do is I'm going to open up edit mode and I'm going to random, I'm going to choose, I'm going to invent a totally random scenario and I'm going to update it so that it's actually possible for me to survive. So let's see what we get. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay, cool. So I get six people to start off with, chosen from ten. We're a tribe, so we don't get anything to research, any good research to work with. I think that's fine. Uh, we start with four boomalopes and a chinchilla. Uh, I don't have any problems with that, I guess. We'll leave the age range what it's set to, even though I hate that. Just This is just awful. Uh, arrival method, we're already there. Okay. We're forced to struggle with crypto sleep sickness, even though we... Even though we started off, um, okay, all right, I guess that's cool. Context only applies to the starting characters, so any raiders won't have to deal with this. I'm not sure how long this lasts, maybe like just a couple days, I don't know. Characters explode on death. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. And all we get is 217 muffalo wools, and we're constantly dealing with the solar flare, so that's... That's going to be no electricity for us. Well, geez. I don't really like the way this is starting out. So we need to get rid of some things in order to give us material that so we can actually survive. The game starts us off with, with six people, and all of them are really old. So I think, that that's, I think that's fair. I think that that right in and of itself is actually pretty balanced. And we arrive standing. They didn't give us any weapons to go with. They didn't give us any food, nothing to build out of. Uh, so I think let's go ahead and let's add weapons. Since it is a tribe, I think it makes sense to give us like bows and stuff like that. Uh, bows, pilas. So I'm going to throw in just like two pilas. And I'm going to add in two bows, two short bows. There you go. <laughs> Goodness gracious. 147 short bows, guys. And then I'm going to add two more melee weapons. Uh, I forget. I think clubs is what they generally go with. But I'm going to see if I can find something that I think is more fitting. Like a spear or... Yeah, here we go. Spear. Yeah, I, I think spear is okay. Let's go with two spears. Sure, wooden spear, I guess. It makes sense. No, no, I'll make it better. We are a tribe, after all. We'll go with the steel, a steel spear. Okay, and now maybe some starting food would be nice. Since we're a tribe, I'm going to go with... Uh, what is it called? Pemmican? There it is. 361. I'm going to bump that up to, like, 600, because we we're, we're, we got six people. Pe that pemmican's going to go out quick. And then we also have all the animals here with us, too. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to get rid of the chinchilla. Because it's not going to be useful to us for anything. It's just going to end up becoming chowder for, like, <laughs> for other monsters in the surrounding area. So I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to replace it with some building material. I'm going to replace it with some... I, I guess we could just do wood. I think that's fair, I guess, because we're a big old tribe. Let's just start off with like 1,000 though, because we need, we're gonna need a lot. We're a big group. It's gonna this 1,000 wood is gonna go out fast. 
Okay, cool. Everyone explodes when they die. We get four boomalopes for pets, which is going to be great, I think. We train them. Train them to, like, hunt and... Or, not hunt. Train them to be released and, like, they'll just go attack the bandits for us, blow up and die and kill all the raiders for us. <laughs> That'll be great. Cassandra is by far the worst, from what I understand. Uh, she's, like... Not, not the worst in the sense of, uh... How bad of a storyteller it is, but I mean how, like, unforgiving. Because Randy Random is just sort of random. You don't know what you're going to get. But usually he's pretty fair. And then Phoebe Chillax, I mean, gives you a lot of time between disasters. So she, like, gives you a lot of time to relax and then hits you really hard. And then gives you a lot of time to relax and hits you really hard again. So she's the easiest one. And Cassandra is, like, is considered the worst one because she constantly gets harder and harder to deal with. So I'll go with Rough. I'll go with Permadeath Mode so that I can't save Scum this time. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep on, um, for this series, I'm just going to keep on replaying this as many times as you guys want. And we'll just, we'll see how that goes. I may later on change this and start using mods i do have a lot of mods already so i think adding mods to this will make things a lot more interesting okay next <laughs> stream i wish i could stream i don't have the internet for that or the computer for that matter 50 percent. i always go with 50 percent at least sure let's call it stream overall rainfall overall temperature i think that's all fine let's go ahead and generate you guys may have caught the caught on to this already, but I'm doing this totally vanilla. I'm not going to be using any mods because I want people to who are I want to encourage people to get RimWorld and kind of show them what you're going to get if you just bought the game and started playing it. And to be honest, I think it's a great game even all by itself. But the mods, oh, you guys are going to love it whenever I start using mods again. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of you guys already did. Uh, you guys remember when I did this series that I called Pirate Hunter? Where, like, my goal was to try and take out every single pirate on the entire map, every single pirate faction, and see how the game responds. I never got around to testing that out. I never did. Uh, I really should do a video on that at some point in the future. So, here's the world that we were given. Looks pretty expansive, full of factions. I'm going to take a look at the factions first and see what we get. Okay. So, we're friends with, an out with two Outlander Unions... An enemy of a tribe, and it looks like there's no way we're going to befriend them. It's not anytime soon. That's going to be rough. So we, we got one pirate band and one tribe to deal with, which is going to suck. But, oh, what can you do? Okay. So the pirates hate us, and the tribes hate us. But everyone else likes us, and they're just regular outlander unions. Oh, great. Okay, let's open up Advanced real quick and let's choose a larger map than Average. There we go. That's the one I prefer to go with. And let's select our random site. I'm going to give myself three movement options in case if I don't get a place that I like. There we go. Wait, what? What happened to Poets Forest? What? Welcome to the land I just selected. It was like right here, wasn't it? What happened to Poets Forest? What? What even? What was it called? Poets Forest? I don't. I don't even know anymore. Okay. Forests of deciduous trees, interspersed with fertile clearings. Many species of animals move around in the trees and on the plains. Because of snow, it is slow to travel in river. In winter. Slate and sandstone. Oh, you know what? There was another thing I forgot to mention. Um, The beta 18, again, pretty sure most of you guys know about this already, but they added a few new biomes. They added swamps. Uh, so I think I'm going to re-roll a couple more times and see if I can get us into one of the new biomes. From what I understand, they're actually kind of hard to survive in. Okay, so there's Temperate Swamp, and then I think there was Tropical Swamp, too, over here. I think that's what this was. Yeah, Tropical Swamp, Temperate Swamp, and one other kind of swamp. Th no, that's Boreal. Um, 
shoot, I can't think of what it's called. Uh, is it here? No, it's Temperate Swamp. That's more Tropical Swamp, isn't it? Okay, I know that they have another one. I'm just, I'm just not seeing it. Oh, well, let's random again. Okay, it put us again in a temperate forest and out in the plains, which I don't even like that anyway. So let's random one more time and we'll go with whatever we land on. Well, this is even worse. Fine, <laughs> we'll just deal with it. We'll just deal with it. Okay, so we do have a winter time. We do have a summer time. Looks like we only get 30 days. Jeez, only 30 days to grow. Oh, I don't like that. But at least it's near some allies. So, you know, if we're having it rough, we can just be like, hey guys, let's go over and say hi to you. If we need to trade or whatever. Okay, cool. Fine, fine, fine. Ooh, disease frequency. Once every year, at least. Once or twice a year. Okay, let's pick out our peoples. We want the healthiest. You. Mm, move up to the top. Goodness gracious, you people are awful. Asthma, hearing loss, bad back. Okay, all of you guys are going to at least have some injuries, it looks like. Okay. Some of you guys are just awful. You are just the worst. So I'm going to put you at the bottom. Hearing loss bad back what does that do for you makes you slower and makes you manipulate less uh stab scars aren't that bad yeah it just lowers your efficiency a little bit so we'll, we'll put you in the team um yeah asthma is awful to deal, to deal with frail and bad back and a bite scar mm. old gunshot yeah you have asthma let's just Scratch Scar and Old Gunshot aren't the worst, I suppose. Okay, you have Asthma. I think I think I want to go with you over over whoever you are. Hmm? There we go. Hmm. So these are the best of the group that I seem to be able to get. So you are like my least favorite one. So let's see here. Anyone down here that's better. Not really. All you guys seem to be capable of fighting except you. Ah, some of you guys are actually a mate. Holy moly, 18 to melee. That's what I like to see. Okay. So we got one who can't do fighting, but that's okay because there's five of us who can. And a lot of you guys seem to be really good at, at melee or, or sh and shooting. So that's good. Yeah, shooting is great. Melee is great. We have doctors, we have good cooks, we have good growers, suck at, we suck at building, but nobody seems to like to build. Really? Nobody? Not, not even one? Not a single one. Uh, we have someone who loves mining, and we some, have someone who loves doing research. Okay. Alright, that's not too bad. We, we have good, a good, pretty good starting team, actually. Despite they're all, like, really old with gunshot wounds and... Yeah, this isn't too bad. I can I can deal with this. Okay, cool. Let's begin. Okay, cool. So we're here. I'm gonna take a quick look around the map, uh, make a few, you know, make a few tweaks and adjustments and stuff like that. Get the base just set up and get everyone geared up. Get everyone's jobs assigned and everything like that. And I'll we'll be back with you guys in a second.